Hello, my sumo peeps. I am back with a half-ass tutorial, <laughs> or whatever it is. I just, uh, uh, Lathyrus asked me how I made kind of a webby-looking leaf mesh thing, and I couldn't really remember how I did it, so I thought I would try to imitate it and use it as a video, since I haven't made a video in quite some time. So here we go. I know you're just so excited. New image. And I know I started with a leaf brush. We'll turn our flow all the way up, diameter all the way up. We will choose the leaf silhouette, and I used the maple leaf or whatever that is before, and should I do it again? Yeah, let's do something different. Let's do this one. Okay, and then we can turn our size up more. Okay, so there's our black leaf shape. And if I remember correctly, what I did was right click, select pixels, and then I Select contracted. And do, do, do. actually, let's cancel that for the moment. Let's duplicate that layer because I want to keep the step. So on the second layer, I'm going to select pixels, select contract so that we have just a border and push OK, and then let's delete that. Edit. Cut. And if I turn off this bottom layer, you'll see that I just have the outline of the leaf, which actually, that is fine, so I don't even need this bottom layer anymore. So let's delete this. And select, deselect. And I got this idea from one of Gabby's um, abstracts, where she had kind of the outline shape of leaves that looked very much like metal. So in order to get the metal look, I selected pixels again, and I took a gradient, and of course I like the gold when it comes to that, and I chose the second one, linear reflected, and I just kind of ran it over like this. So I got a lot of different detail in there, and select, deselect, and you can see it sort of has that gold, gold leaf, ha ha ha. And I went filters, stylize and Emboss. Embossing just gives it that 3D look. And I think that's probably good. Push OK. I'm trying to remember what I did next. Let's go ahead and put this on a different colored background so we can see more. There we go. Now it's a little bit more like metal there. And let's try and remember what I did. Oh, OK. I duplicated this layer. I took the layer that was on top and went filters, blur, radial blur. Let's just see a little less here. Okay, so I had that. And I pushed lighten. I pushed OK. Now, I duplicated that. Duplicate layer. I took the one that was on top. Transformed it, held my hand on the shift key so it would shrink without changing the shape, and I brought it down like so. And I like that. And then I duplicated that layer and did the same thing. Free transform, hand on shift, and brought it down. This isn't turning out exactly like the other one, but you can see it looks pretty cool, so I'll keep going here. Duplicate layer. Transformed. Oops. So we'll do that. Transform and shrink. And there we have kind of our metal leaf here. Let's see. Merge down. Merge down. Merge down. And this leaf, this outline. Let's go ahead and use it in a different place, sort of like there. We'll duplicate that layer, and we'll flip horizontal, and we'll flip vertical. And then, we'll free transform it and shrink it a bit. We'll do the same with this guy here. Duplicate 
create that layer. And we'll move it. Three transform. Should get even more. Put it up there. I have no idea what I'm doing, but that's okay. Duplicate layer. Move it. Transform. Keep it there. Duplicate layer. Move it. Retransform. Actually, maybe I'll go ahead and stick that in the middle of this thing. How's that? Do I like that? Me? It's okay. I'll leave it. Okay, and then to do the mesh background. Take this layer and I put a gradient on it once again. And we'll go ahead and do that same gradient. We'll go ahead and use that. Looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Um, and then I went filters, pixelate, half tone pattern. And the important thing here was to shrink the size of the half tone pattern. I'm not sure why I don't have the same color that I had when I just did a minute ago. Frame shape. There we go. It's kind of cool. And if 
you really wanted it to be different, um, everybody else does more colorful stuff than I do. <laughs> so you could uh, change the colors around and see what you think looks best. Here I'm just dialing up and down the saturation. Let's try different colors. Blue and gold's a kind of gold. Cool. So do green and golds. I think I'll leave it like that. Okay, filters, stylize and boss, just to see if I can like, bring you back a little bit of that gold. It's kind of cool. I like having a little bit more colors than I usually use, but I'm usually afraid to use them. And I think I might even add another border layer here. It's, it's kind of cool to have a halftone pattern that makes sort of this this mesh look, and um, radial blur makes so many miracles happen. So, anyway, uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.